Call the buyer and tell him three o'clock. Sure. Will you be back from lunch? For sacks, I'll skip lunch. I don't believe it. I beat you here. <clears throat> don't take this wrong, but you look like hell. <laughs> How could I take that wrong? Is it Alec? He's on to me, Claudia. I have to end it. I have to end it tonight. You can still just walk away from him. Just walk away and forget it. It's gone too far. You missed lunch with Paul yesterday, and then you stood him up again last night. How do you know that? Did he call here? He wants you to meet him at the Willow Theater, if you want to. The Willow? Claudia, you don't, you don't think he knows. It's some business thing. He's going to be there until 2. If you're not careful, you're going to lose that man. Is Alec worth it? All my life, I've allowed people to hurt me. Now I have a chance to fix it. You've been a really good friend to me. I wouldn't? Well, I wasn't sure. You've been a little difficult to reach lately. Um, I know. I, I've been busy. I'm, I'm sorry. I know I've been distracted. And this is where I started out? <laughs> a lot of memories. A lot of memories. Did you, uh, you ever do theater, Adrian? I, I've done a little bit of everything. Um, why did you want to meet here? Oh. Well, I've come up with an opening for the movie. Starting it out in a little theater like this. You know, the way Olivier did it with Henry V? It's just a small group of actors doing Romeo and Juliet, you know, with makeshift sets. The spotlight becomes the sun. The ladder becomes an ancient oak. And nothing is what it seems. I like it. I do. It's, it's, um, it's wonderful. I, I want to talk about it with you, but I, I have you to know, go. I don't, I don't I mean... know what it is. I, I don't know. But there is something going on with you. I got to tell you. It scares me. It's something that I'm handling. There's no reason to get you involved. Damn it, Adrian, I am here for you. If you would just let me be, whatever it is, just you, let me There's help. nothing you can do. You know, fine. You're, you're pulling further and further away from me. Paul, can you, can you trust me? Trust you? I don't know. How do you trust somebody you don't even know? Paul. Paul! Is Alec. Leave a message, I'll get back. It's Adrian. I want this over. You win. Bring the money tonight, you can get in on the deal. Meet me at the Beverly Palms Hotel, room 201. Thank you, Mr. King. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. May I help you? Yes. I have a room reserved under the name of Dalton. Yes, madam. Dalton. Uh, Alec Dalton, uh, 201? Yes. He'll be arriving shortly. I'd like a bottle of champagne sent up, please. Yes, sir. You gonna be out late? Don't wait up if that's what you're wondering. You sure this is only business? Yes. None of yours. Reservation, Alec Dalton. Mr. Dalton, the lady is expecting you, room 201. Thank you. Hello? 
Emily? There's Chef Hayne on the desk. Oh, you're here already. Well, you are anxious to see me. Are we celebrating something? We're celebrating us. Just the way it used to be. Isn't that what you wanted? What the hell is this? You said you loved me the way I was. Is this some kind of sick joke? Don't tell me you changed your mind, Alec. I couldn't take another disappointment like that. I really couldn't. It would hurt too much. Good you brought the money. You can leave now. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. Like I said, the money's only part of it. You know what? I think we should get reacquainted. Come here. Come here. What? You thought that this would keep me away? Huh? I know what's in my makeup now. And I want it. Come here. Oh. 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 Just stay away from me. What do you think you're doing? Maybe I'm settling the score. Yeah. You know what? You can't do that because someone had to see you come in here. They saw a girl with a scar on her face and cheap clothing. They saw Emily Gilmore. And she doesn't exist anymore. You made sure of that. You know what? You should be down on your knees and thanking me for that one, shouldn't you? God, you're so pathetic. I can't believe I ever loved you. You disgust me. If you can't say anything nice, just don't say anything at all, all right? You know, Claudia and I did our research on you. So if you don't want the police to find out, just get out of here! You know what? You think that you've changed so much, but you're still the same little scarred, weak, ugly girl that you always were. Now, you have a choice. It's one or the other. Either you pull the trigger or you give me the gun. You give me the gun. Okay. <laughs> it's not even real. It's a prop gun. What the hell is this? You think that you can kill me with a prop gun? You know what, Em? You just don't have the killer instinct. No, but I do. And you taught me. What the hell is this? The Beverly Hills chapter of the NRA? But, whoa. <laughs> How did I ever get involved with two such total losers? Huh? I mean, Emily here, she's got the face these days. But Sheila, you're nothing but a hopeless drunk. Son of a bitch. You know one thing I've never had? Two sisters at the same time. Come here, baby. Let her go! Let her go! What are you doing? What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing? Leave her alone! Bitch! Leave her alone! Come on, listen! Don't you ever listen? Don't you listen? Get out of here, my room's down the hall. Come on. Em, um, what am I gonna do? Hey, you listen to me, all right? Okay, you go home. Go home. Nothing happened here. When the police call you, you act surprised, all right? I always took care of everything. Yeah, well, now you're gonna take care of yourself. I'm gonna help you. After all this, you'd help me? Get me. We're sisters. How can you ever forgive me? Hey, I already have. Yes. Huh? Yes, I understand. But please, no reporters. Hello, Miss Corday. Hello, Philippe. What's uh, what's going on? The man has been shot. Do they know who did it? A woman was looking for him earlier. A scar from ear to ear. 
I'll never forget that face if I live to be a hundred. Okay. With only pounds, may I help you? No command, call the police. I have to encounter now. The cops told me what happened here. It's awful. Tragic. Listen, Adrian, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for blowing up and, and... Can we start over? I'm gonna get you out of here. Let's go away for the weekend. Just disappear. What do you say? Before we go, I think there's something I should tell you. Whatever it is, I'm sure I already know. <laughs>